Yo, what is up guys? It's Mac and I'm back with another video and today I have another deck profile for you guys. Two things first. One, I hope you guys like the video intro at the beginning. It's something I've been working on for a little bit and I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comment section below um, what you would change if you would change anything with it. Um, and number two, you guys probably already heard it. I have like laundry going on on the other side of the house but for some reason I'm pretty sure the mic still picks it up which is pretty dumb uh, but yeah so I hope that doesn't annoy you guys too much but today we are looking at Excadrill Clink Clang one of my favorite decks to play right now not sure how viable it is but it's really really fun it might not be the best deck right now but it can beat Rayquaza it has a pretty decent matchup versus Rayquaza actually um, it sort of struggles versus Toad, but I want to put a Wally or two in here. I want to try to fit a Wally or two and then um, see what we can do from there because Wally would definitely help. Because as, as long as you get Clink Clang up, uh, Toad Puff can't touch you because Toad Puff doesn't play Garbodor. Um, and then you'd essentially just win. Like, what are they going to do? Attack you with their Puffs? That's not going to happen. You just win. Um, but yeah, so today we are looking at Excadrill. Excadrill is pretty... It is beautiful. It is great. Uh, that artwork is fantastic. First off, second off, it's got the alpha. Second off, second of second, second secondary. Anyways, that word. Um, it has alpha barrage. This Pokemon may attack twice a turn. Um, if the first attack knocks out your opponent's active Pokemon, you may attack again after they switch, which is pretty cool. Um, and you see, it's got Mott Claw for 50. It's, this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. Um, that's kind of cool, doesn't do a ton of damage, but when you're attacking twice, um, it can do a good amount of damage. And you have Dredge, which um, is actually good, like, I, I use Dredge a ton. Search your deck for two energy cards, energy cards, not basic energy cards, energy cards, and attach them to this Pokemon. So, you can uh, attach, like, a metal energy to your Drill Bear. Turn 1, Evolve into Excadrill. Turn 2, Dredge, because you don't have another energy. Search for two special metals, put those on him, and then you can still Mott Claw that turn for 50 um, or for 70 if you have a Muscle Band or whatever. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, you uh, basically, basically, you set up your Excadrills, you set up your Bronzongs, and you set up your Clink Clings. The, the main thing that makes this deck good is Clink Cling. Because when you're doing Excadrill 1v1 versus non-EX Pokemon, Excadrill can win 95% of the time. That 5% is Flareon. I mean, that's a big 5% with Flareon because it's definitely played a lot and can definitely like body this deck hard. But uh, besides Flareon, there isn't really anything that can do it. Not saying that Flareon's not giant or anything. Flareon is. But uh, Clink Clang has the Plasma Steel ability, and Clink Clang's my favorite card in Pokemon right now. Uh, well, I mean, competitive-wise. It was the first deck I ever used. I've been wanting to put it in something forever, and I finally sort of started messing around with this idea, and it's been awesome to use my boy Clink Clang again. Uh, he has the Plasma Steel ability, prevent all damage done to your metal Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX. So all EXs cannot touch Excadrill. So he's attacking twice. Your EX, your opponent's EXs can't touch him. They have to find some way to stop him. And uh, sometimes decks just don't have anything they can do. Like, uh, uh, a lot of decks don't have anything they can do. Um, but Flareon is a problem. We have Bronzongs because Metal Lynx is good. Uh, that's really just why. It's just because Metal Lynx is good. Like, it's not needed in the deck, but... Metal Lynx is good, and if you have uh, if you're having problems setting up an Excadrill late, you do play a couple double colorless, so you can do double colorless and then Bronzong, and then boom, you got yourself an Excadrill late in the game for not a lot of cost, which is pretty cool. And then you got Jirachi, cause Jirachi, Jirachi, Versace, Versace, uh, Stellar Guidance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench, you may search your deck for a supporter card. When metal Pokemon can't be hit by EXs because of Clink Clang, Jirachi becomes like 50 times better. Because it's very hard for them to knock him out. Um, and Jirachi is really, really good anyway. Because like if you, you only have an Ultra Ball in your hand. You don't have a supporter. You just Ultra Ball for Jirachi, put him down, find a supporter, and bam! There you go. 
Uh, but yeah, basically the deck is based around Clink Claim and Excadrill, as I've said like 50 times so far. Let's get into the trainers. We run two Battle Compressor, search your deck for up to three cards and discard them, then shuffle your deck afterwards, basically just to get your medals in the discard, to get a supporter if you just have a Versus Seeker, uh, to get cards you don't want in your deck anymore just to thin the deck. It's really, really good. Battle Compressor is probably a one of in just about everything right now because Versus Seekers are played in everything. So why wouldn't Battle Compressor be played in everything? We play Dowsing Machine as our A spec to let us get back rare candies, let us get back training center, so with it so we have four. Um, let us get back any of our supporters, let us get back hard charms or muscle bands. Definitely really good. Uh, and I also don't have a computer search, so whoop, can't play that, uh, which might be good in this deck because you can find candies earlier. But we play two rare candies, just lets you skip the clang and go straight from clink to clink clang. Uh, we play two switches, sometimes I wish it was three because everything in this deck is fat as hell, but uh, you just can't really fit it in. Play four Ultra Balls because you got to find all your Pokemon. You have a ton with eight Excadrill things, four Bronzong things. Five Kling Kling things and a Jirachi. Uh, it's kind of hard. You gotta find everything. We play three Versus Seeker, including one Gold Versus Seeker, which counts as two. And then we play two Chorus, two Lysander, three N, just cause, <laughs> just cause really. There's no like particular reason why I dropped a three. It's just because of space, and I felt like three N was enough. Uh, with Versus Seeker, you can kind of pull them back whenever, and it's. Good. It's it's just good. It's it's cool. It's fine. It works. Um, for Juniper, I prefer Juniper over Sycamore. I prefer my ladies. And then uh, we have three Training Center. Training Center is really good because Stage 1 and Stage 2 Pokemon get boosted by 30 HP. So that means your boy Excadrill is up to 140. And the head honcho Kling Klang is up to 170. 170 HP Kling Klang that can't be hit by EXs. That's going to be hard to take down. That's going to be hard to take down because a lot of times what people do in the situation where they have only a couple non-EX attackers is instead of trying to use those attackers to 1v1 Excadrill, which is just going to make them lose, they try to Lysander out your Kling Kling and try to kill it. So yes, that is, that is uh, why Training Center is so good. And it's also a counter stadium. You always need counter stadiums. We play Hard Charm, one Hard Charm, or no, two Hard Charms, sorry, my bad. It, it used to be one. Now we play two, because when you have special medals and a Hard Charm on your Excadrill, it can be very hard for non exes to get enough uh, damage output to knock him out. Like it, it usually takes three or four hits to knock out a 140 HP Excadrill with a Hard Charm and special medals. It can be very tough. We play two Muscle Bands, because uh, Muscle Bands a good card and makes you hit for 140 and makes your Kling Kling hit for 90 and stuff like that. Basically not for the Kling Kling, but you know 90 damage from a Kling Kling would not be that terrible. We play two Double Colorless because you might need it. I don't try to go for Double Colorless, it's more of like a security blanket in case I need to set up an Excadrill really fast. And then I play five regular metals because we need them for bronzong and I mean you need metal energy so I might as well play some regular metals in there and then we play four special metal energies because they're really I mean they're not really good I can't say they're really good but they're good they're good enough especially in in this deck where it's really defensive anyway and it's it's defensive in the it's not defensive in the I'm gonna hammer your energy and be a fuckboy way. It's defensive in the way that like you just lock out EXs, which is in my opinion is not the same thing. But you could think differently than me. <laughs> but well, uh, that is basically the deck. If you have any questions, if you have any things to let me that you would say to make this better, because I am obviously not the all-knowing Clink Clang God. Um, that I think I am so let me know in the comment section below if you have anything that you would put in here to make this better But I'm gonna go find a game and we can check this deck out IRL Let's look for another game uh, And we are facing psychic and nothing hopefully this man attacks with the Zubats again uh, We're not gonna go first unless he lets us uh, Yeah, he's gonna choose to go first his name is corpsey. That's a very morbid name actually scares me. Corpsey. Oh god. Um, Psychic and Normal, trying to think of what he's playing. Probably something jank off of, like, probably some PGCGO jank. It's 
probably what it is. But we do have a drill bear to start and a Jirachi Jirachi Visachi Visachi. And finally he decides to choose his starting Pokemon, I guess. Um oh, I am I'm anxious to see what he flips over. Cause if it's something real, I could be scared. Uh, no, show me no! Stop it. I wanna see what he flips over. Eevee and a Toxicroak. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, let's do this. Start the poison train. I wish I played Steel Shelter in here sometimes instead of uh, Training Center. Steel Shelter might be the better choice. But I don't know. I don't know. He's going to magically evolve into a SP on turn one because he broke the game. And uh, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, and oh, he's got the Rattata. Oh, this man. He's what what am I supposed to do? He's got a Rattata. What do I do against a Rattata? I just lose. Like the game's just over. Uh, I'm going to discard that. And I'm going to discard that cuz I don't want to help your stupid Espeon. And I'm going to get another Drillbur. Because YOLO 420 blaze it. And I'm going to put down my Jirachi Jirachi Visachi Visachi. And I'm going to find an N if I have any in here. Oh, I prized 2N. Okay. 2 Enterprise. prized. Got to remember that for the future. Future. If I need to know anyway. Um, you can hit anywhere. That's dumb. So you can. Yeah, that's so dumb. You're dumb. You're stupid. I hate you. Um, yeah, you're dumb. I'm gonna put a double colorless on the active. Uh, it's scary because if he has a muscle band, I'd die. YOLO! You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna theory swipes this hoe. And, uh, fuck you, Nintendo! Why do you do this? Three t uh, are you blind, son? Son, you have eyes. Use them. Hit with one damn Fury Swipes. Oh my god. Boy, do something. Well, he's going to grow up next turn, and he's going to kill everything, so it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I think. I think. If he ever plays anything, please, sir, I'm going to pause and I'll be back whenever he plays something. Okay, so Fuckboy finally did something. And what he did is, is he attached a DC to his Toxic Croak, used the Triple Poison, and poisoned us. So we just evolved and then that poison is gone. You're, you're bad. Um, and then we all travel away that and our clang, because who cares if we even have a clang. And we go and we get the, um, uh, duh, uh, duh, duh, what's, what's on my bench? Yeah. We go and we get the other Jilber. Um, and then we course five and get muscle bands. And then we hit him with the flex. Hit him with the flex, Excadrill. And boom, boom, pow. And he is now... 30 HP till death, which is cool. Um, but yeah, this guy is not really playing anything serious. I'm gonna pause, because fucking Grandpa Oak over here takes three years to do anything. Alright, I took a little nap and I came back and it looks like he actually did something. So he lysandered us up in Toxic Dust, I think. I don't know. This guy's t terrible. Um... Ultra Ball away, that metal and that metal. We'll get an Excadrill. Um, put an Excadrill on that one. Attach special energy to that X. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, fuck, I already did it. And we didn't hit the switch. Hooray, we didn't hit the switch. I'm, in a, I'm a god. I'm so good at this game. Uh, I'm going to attach a muscle band there. And, uh, yeah, I should have just attached an energy and then just... Oh, my gosh. Right, well, I'm going to pause while the Gramps does his stuff. All right, all right, all right. So we're finally here at the end. Killed everything. 
he managed to kill one Excadrill and my Jirachi, and I pretty much bodied like everything that he has. And this motherfucker has the nerve to say, "Nice Pokemon." Are you kidding me? After you just wasted like three years of my life, I am now 24. You wasted three years of my life playing this game against your bad deck. You're probably just starting the game, so I'm not going to call your deck bad. You're probably a nice guy, but you took forever, and you have the nerve to say nice Pokemon. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not even going to kill your Meowstic. I'm going to kill your Esper. Fuck that bitch. This is stupid. This game is dumb. This game is dumb. Let's see what, what rewards we get. We get a, ooh, we get a present. We get a present, and hopefully I'm going to have one. All right, ooh, 50 coins. Not bad. I like that. Um... Hopefully we will have um, a better game this time. Super fantastical, extra spectacular game. We get grass. Please let this be Freezing Genesect and not like Weedle. All right. Oh, she has the Genesect sleeves. Yeah, I'll go first. Please be Genesect. For the love of God, be. I don't have a basic shit. And I get basic there. But this hand is so bad. Why am I starting like this? Uh, she's at least playing raising. Oh my god! And we draw another. God damn it! This is so bad. I just have to juniper all of this. Literally, just have to juniper all of that away. Get a clink. Get a jilber. Attach a metal there. Um, battle compressor. Metal. Metal, metal, um, and turn, which it ended up being not that bad, but if we have to, oh my gosh, if I have to Juniper away, oh, he, he does have the switch, okay, Acrobike, um, that's interesting, oh, Trevenant, okay, that's also interesting, um, however, if we set up Kling Kling, we pretty much, w lasers? It, lasers? People are just looking for excuses to be fuckboys these days. Wow. Are you fucking kidding? Are, are, are you serious? Not only were we going to have to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's your retreat cost? Three? Come up here, fatty. I'm awake. I am live. Please end me to try to find a switching card. Please end me. What does that even do? What does your first attack do? Dark Forest, uh, 20 and I can't retreat. Oh, thanks, fam. Thank you so much. I'm weak to grass with Drill Bear. Oh, my God. Give me rare candy. Man, that works. Excadrill, praise God. Drill Bear, training center. Okay, we, we, we end this. Dredge. Uh, give me that metal. Give me that metal. And then let me smack in the face for 50. Bitch! And next turn, we should be able to kill it. Barring I can dowsing machine for a muscle band, which I'm pretty sure I will be able to. But it, it looked very, very bad. He's going to lie center up our clink, probably. Yeah, the clink and then 20, and we can't retreat. Um, however, I am going to dowsing machine... I don't think I have a switch in here. I don't think so. Um, I'm going to Dowsing Machine for the Muscle Man. Put it on him and hope for a switch. And we... Of course we don't get a switch. Why would we? Um, put a Hard Charm there. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of that. Because they usually don't play Stadium cards. I'm going to get a Cling Cling. I'm a Rare Candy. Into a Cling Cling. And, uh, you can hold these nuts. Because now, you can't touch me. And I'm at 170 HP with a hard charm. Good luck, fam. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck with your brilliant Verizian Genocide deck. Find your G-Booster quickly, please. I, I, I implore you to find your G-Booster. Because that's the only way you're going to win this game. The only way you're going to win this game is by G-Boostering all my metal Pokemon. How does that feel? Watch him get like energy switch, energy switch, G booster, like right now. <laughs> and then switch. Energy switch, energy. Oh, he has a Wurmple. Or she has a Wurmple. The Wurmple, though. 
Search your deck for another Wurmple? How do I beat that? Flock is so broken. Search your deck for Wurmple and put it on... That is disgusting. What? How? You... Oh my god. How do you beat that? Um, it's gonna chorus though. And find Nada Switch. Um, I'm gonna abandon the whole... No, I, I, I can't really abandon the whole Bronzong strategy. I'm gonna abandon the whole Stadium strategy though. Um... I'm gonna get another clink actually, because I have that clang in my hand. I'm gonna start attaching. Oh, I'm not gonna freaking attack you with clink clang. I'm gonna body you with clink clang. However, we are just a switch away. And in the words of, of my friend Patrick, uh, they're probably in the prizes, so I can be like, I can show you the world, and then just show you uh, my prizes, because that's where essentially the world is right now. Um, but we are running out of cards, so we only have 13 turns left to win the game. Uh, barring we play other things. Um, but I need to switch so bad. Let's hit a strong card! God bless America! You are amazing! I love you! you Alright. Raistlin XW, you're my new best friend. We we tight we tight. Um, I'm just gonna chorus. I don't need to attach that to anybody. Bronzong. Thanks for the not switch. Um, Excadrill. Uh, I'm just gonna battle compressor some metals back in here because we don't need those. We don't need to really see them. I see a switch right there, so we have one. I think I prized the other switch. So I think so. Yeah, we prized the other switch. I'm gonna put the Juniper in there, because you never know when we're gonna need it. I'm gonna attach that double colors there. And, uh, wait, can I? Oh, I can't retreat. Shit. Undo last action. I'm gonna attach that there. And then my turn. I forget this little tree bitch stopping me from retreating. And of course you flip heads on your Hypnotoxic Laser. Why would you not flip heads on your Hypnotoxic Laser? Why, why would you not play Verbank City Gym in a Verizian Genesec deck? Why would you not play Verbank? This dude. Whew. You know what really grinds my gears? This man in particular. And I stay asleep, of course. Still need a switching card. Oh, totally needed that Bronzer, though. Definitely helped. Not. Uh, Metal Link there DCE there oh, what's your retreat cost? three? lol I'm gonna, I'm gonna Lysander up this cascoon <laughs> no! wake up you dumb bitch wake up wake up clang 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 is he gonna iron defense? Please iron defense. Please for the love of god iron defense. That'll be adorable. He's gonna Sycamore. Hopefully he does not get a switch. Although he did Lysander's trump card one of his switches back in the deck, so... It's probably a high percentage chance that he does find a switch. Oh hey look at that, he found a switch. And he's gonna be able to Emerald Slash, which is gonna kill us I think? Which really sucks. No, it's a zero damage. <laughs> it's a zero. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, heads, we woke up. We need an energy, though. Uh, we get an end. Alright, gotta put that down. And we get Plasma Clang the second. Um, I'm gonna put the hard charm on that one. I'm gonna switch into him. Training center. Go into Metal Link's one. I only have one. One undo the other clink clink. Um, just to make it a little bit easier to retreat if he does go up there. We're going to Mock Claw for 70. And we're going to Mock Claw for 70. So 140 damage to that Verizian. Um, he does have the Cascoon with a bunch of energy on him back there. And he does, or she does have the Genesect as well. So those are our two things. And he evolved into, what is this? Dustox? Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poison. That's scary! I don't like that. I only have another... 
I don't even think I have another Switch card in this deck right now. I don't like that. Um, and it's got 140 HP, right? Yeah, 170 HP Dust Docks. What is my life? However, he's only going to do 90. I'm going to sick him more. Just, I guess he wants to deck himself out. He's trying so hard. She's like, please. Oh, GG. GG booster. The GG booster. Lesson is trump card again? Bro. <laughs> you go through your deck so fast. Um, I found a Verbank. It's adorable. 60. Of course I flip tails. Alright, give me that training center back. I'm gonna chorus for 10, I guess. Oh, hey, we get a switch. And a dowsing machine, so we can switch, switch, and then kill it. And then kill it. And then kill it. No, we can't kill it, so I'm just gonna switch. In other news, I'm gonna put a muscle band on this clinkling. Um. Yeah. Switch into Excadrill the second. And I'm going to Mott Claw for Fitty. And Mott Claw for Fitty. And this one has Hard Charm, so it'll reduce the same amount of damage as the other Excadrill had, so that's cool. Um, he's going to do 60 and try to put me to sleep again. I do flip tails again. So I am forced to. Bloom, bloom. I don't need those anyway. Get another switch. And switch into this one. And Mock Claw for 70 for the knockout. So we take the first knockout. Um, we get an Ultra Ball as our prize, I believe. And then who does he switch up here to take this other 70? I don't know. Oh, the okay. So he 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 puts up the Genesect to take this other seventy, which is perfect because that means that we put the seventy on him now. And even if he's able to kill us with a G booster right now, next turn we just attack with our other Excadrill and knock him out. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing. He's going to trump card again. Jesus, that's like the fourth trump card. How are you doing this, you mad scientist? It's gonna Ultra Ball. You can try to get back your. Oh my god, it's the Wormple again. That's me smacking myself in the forehead, not wanting this Wormple to ever come back. But joke's on you, punk. You got no spaces on the bench. And can't find another energy. Rip and Pepperotis. <laughs> that sucks. That really sucks. That really sucks. Um. But that leaves the door open for us. I have nothing I need to do as far as my hand goes right now. I have nothing I really need to do. Um, so I'm just going to Mott Claw and then Mott Claw. And G Booster is now gone, which is huge. Um, the only thing left in our way to victory is a Wurmple. Oh, just draw a pass. Okay. Um, well, I am going to... Yeah, nothing else I really need to do here either. Mott Claw for 70 for the knockout. And then uh, Mott Claw for 70. Looks like my opponent has kind of given up. They realize with two Kling Klings there, the G booster gone. He wasn't able to hit the energy. Um, uh, I'm asleep. This sucks. Um... I wake up, and that'll be game. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's go back to this. I accidentally clicked on Skype. Um, and yeah, we we wake up, so that is the game. Just Mott Claw for 70, and that is it. Victory, thy name is Excadrill. Uh, thank you guys for watching. That was kind of a long last match, but I'm glad we finally got one against a legitimate deck that was pretty much a legitimate Verizian Genesect build besides the 111 Wurmple Cascoon and Dust Docks, which was in there for just 
my deck specifically, I guess. I don't know why else you would play that, but uh, that's really funny that the Wurmple actually was a threat. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time. And next time we'll also have a pack opening too, because I'm getting a lot of coins. I have a lot of codes I have to unlock. Uh, definitely going to open up some packs soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.